Good morning, we're waking up with Rafa, my 17-year-old dog. People have always asked me, like, how can I be such a good dad so he can live 17 years old? And really, there's not a trick to it, but he's been always a really nice dog. I do remember him walking 10,000 steps per day, um, you know, up until he was... 15, he would walk 10,000 steps per day, so maybe that had something to do with it. His health is good, he has some heart problems, but I think he was is diagnosed. Um, his valve is left, has a left ventricular valve problem, uh, it's common in small dogs. I was going to go to Japan with Rafa, I contacted the doctor, surgery was gonna be like. I think twenty thousand dollars or something like that, and then um, what happened was that I think it was the old house that had car carpet and it was really hot. Um, so there's Rafa. Um, his birthday is gonna be in June first, so he's gonna be seventeen really really soon. He has some problems here with arthritis problems where it kind of hurts for him to walk. But I think the reason he's alive is because obviously he's really spoiled and uh, he just wants to live. Uh, he really likes food. He eats like a, it's a buffet in Las Vegas. So <laughs> he's always loved food. Like there's like that is the last meal he'll ever eat. And later on, I'm going to take some videos of him eating. So basically he wakes up, his only goal in life is to eat. Um, so he'll go pee in the morning. Um, and then the rest of the day he starts walking. He has uh, some arthritis here, so it kind of it's kind of painful for him to walk. So he can no longer walk, go in really long walks. He is also a little blind, um, so he doesn't see a lot. Um, and, but he, he can still smell. So he smells food. Um, so what he does every day is like he wakes up. Rafa, come on, let's wake up. He wakes up really, really slow. He takes like a good 15 minutes to wake up. And then um, he would go pee. And then his mission starts. And his mission is to find food. And uh, even if you give him food at 11.59 p.m., then that's all he needs to go to bed and be a happy dog until the next day so he really truly enjoys eating and i think that's why he's alive because he's always been really good with food i give him wet food special food for seniors and um, i do not take him for long walks anymore um but he i don't think he really misses long walks because he has some arthritis here on his uh, right leg but other than that, he's just a really happy dog and um, he still moves his tail. And his basic happiness in life is eating. <laughs> and he's not fat, he's never been fat. Um, so if I put him in the patio, in the balcony, in the yard, he'll just start walking, uh, trying to find a filet mignon or a big steak. So right now we're gonna go, uh, he has to go pee in the morning. So you have to kind of wake him up. Um, he's really like old people. Like he has a really deep sleep. So you have to kind of shake him. So Rafa, come on. You need to go pee. So you have to really kind of wake him up. <laughs> so it takes like around, I would say, 15 to 20 minutes and for him to fully wake up. And then... He'll go downstairs and then he can finally go pee. Um, today I'm going to go to the movies. Uh, he really likes water. Maybe that's another reason why he's lived such a long life. So before sleeping, he really enjoys a lot of water. And basically 99.9% .9 of the time you give him water, he'll just drink like that's the last water he'll ever have. I think those are the reasons like sports um I remember when he was like in 2019 you know at that point he was 13 he was 
walking 10,000 steps per day. So he really helped me with my cardio, even though he's such a small dog. But now he, maybe those are the benefits and those are the reasons why he lived such a long life, you know, exercise and food and just, he's always been a happy dog. So trying to wake him up, Rafa, come on. And he doesn't want to, um, but eventually he'll go and pee. Maybe 10 minutes from now, he'll start finally go. And then I'm gonna take the other dog for a walk. But I'm really happy that he's been with me like 17 years. And here's his little jacket. Uh, he came from South America to the United States when he was just three months old. Rafa, come on. Rafa. And now uh, I'm gonna become a US citizen in three months. And Rafa's gonna be with me in the ceremony, I hope. So it's, this is the dog that I've loved the most in my whole life. Sorry, Tyler. I love you too. Um, so this is my life with my 17 year old dog. And I really truly love him. He has a, I bathe him every week. And then he really enjoys napping. And I, but I think that's because he's old. Um, so from what I understand, when you're really old, uh, sleep is not as efficient as it was when you are super young. So basically that's why he sleeps so much. But it's really hard waking him up. Alright, so we're gonna go outside.